friends and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Yvonne and you are on Ginger Chick Rehab where I love to go thrifting. I am always out and about at secondhand stores looking for items that I can repurpose or resell and share the hauls with you and also the way that I repurpose and make these items over here on the channel. So if you like that kind of content, hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded a video. So today's video, it is a haul. I usually will show one haul once a week of items that I have picked up at secondhand stores, not only Goodwills, other thrift stores, along with antique stores. You never know um, what you may find at a good deal in an antique store. So let me take this camera down and share with you these amazing finds. I've got some amazing goods in this haul this week. Oh my goodness, where do I even start? There's so many goods this week. So let's just start off with this little pile. I, I can't even necessarily always tell you where something has come from unless it has the Goodwill sticker on, you know uh, that's where it came from. So look at this little Scotty cast iron with wings dog. Now I've seen the pig with wings but never a little Scotty dog. Is that not too sweet? Um, look at that beautiful enamelware tray. Oh, that is just gorgeous. I have a heart for metal and enamelware. I picked up a butter press. Look at that is beautiful. I have an idea. Um, sometimes butter presses sell, they don't sell. So I actually collected and picked this one up for minimal. Yes, minimal. Um, to put in my own collections. And yeah, y'all, I'm always painting. So you're going to see paint on my hand. I thought I scrubbed it all off. But look at this. I have plans for this little guy in one of the little vignettes that I'm going to be putting together. Oh, look at this, it's got an E on it, but it does not matter. But a little drawer, a little cubby. Um, so some of this I do have plans to make into something for you all to bid on on eBay. Look at this, probably used to be copper, but look at that amazing patina. Y'all know that I'm trying to create that patina with the Dixie Belle patinas, which we come pretty cl darn close. It's a beautiful, watering can and then look at this let me see if I can get it to focus um yeah so a hummingbird uh, uh it's hard let me see let me see let me be on my rug there you go there you go better um look at that beautiful hummingbird metal um sometimes things are hard to focus there we go we'll get them off to the side look at that it looks brand new I don't even know if it's ever even been stuck in dirt or not it is just amazing I cannot believe that I found another home interiors candelabra. <laughs> uh, you, you never know. I think that was the Salvation Army. That's the Salvation Army tags. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a little bit different than the one I just made over with the crackle. Um, but yes, is that not gorgeous? And then my friend's friend, my friend's friends, was having a garage sale and she spied this mailbox. So I'm like, yes, please, if it's still there, can you pick that up for me? Um, let's move things around. Now I'm on the fence on this one. I love, um, I love this. This was the Salvation Army also. And the bl blue is beautiful. The flowers could use a little bit of help, but... I really like that smoky, almost gray blue that this metal watering can has. So I think I'm gonna leave that as is, freshen up the flower, maybe put a label, I don't know. Well, you never know what I might do. I cannot believe I ran across an old candle mold. Look at the age on that. Oh my goodness, so even though they're not fast sellers, I just, I, when they're reasonable, I cannot pass them up. Now, my girlfriend was having an estate sale for her mother-in-laws, and so I came over and tried to help her price some of her stuff. And then this cat was in here. You know, I love kitty cats. I love animals. I'm not sure who the maker is. And it does have one little chip, but I do not think that takes away from this beautiful mid-century modern um, type of cat. Look at those eyes. Those eyes are just gorgeous and y'all i know you see the swung vase can you believe out in the wild finding a swung vase and it even is footed oh yeah three footed a beautiful mouth on this piece oh i should get my glowy light to see if it glows i'm pretty sure this is probably an ellie smith 
Um, well, some some of it glows, not a ton of glow. You can see where the little lighter color um, around the mouth will glow. But yes, yeah, the Amberina color, but a beautiful collectible swung base. If you see those out there, do not pass them off if they are a good deal, y'all. Okay, so let's get to the sheep since I can't get to my star quite yet. Oh my gosh, yes, I got this at the community thrift. <gasps> Is that not everything? Okay, so here's a rolling pin. <laughs> yes, I picked up a black handle rolling pin at Goodwill. That's how big that sheep is. Oh my, oh, it's resin, it's beautiful. They said they had a smaller one that had already sold. I'm like, oh, I would have loved to have been able to get both of them. And then this yummy, look at this yummy, this patinaed star, it's huge, it's thick. Oh my gosh, I have a thing for stars anyway. So when I saw that yummy green color, I thought, oh, can I keep it for myself? Do I have a place? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so let's go back down to some smalls. Now these are some hand painted, and I thought, oh my gosh, a hand, whoop, hand painted matching set. They are signed, there, see? See, I told you they are hand painted, not reproductions. Um, the frames, you know, I could see painting the frames black and that would really pop her beautiful. Anybody know? Oops. What was her name? Carolyn Reese. Carolyn Reese, will you have, especially to paint small, you know, oh, I can paint things, but I can't do decor. Like, I mean, like, yeah, I can't, no, no, nope, I can't do stuff like that. My painting's a lot different than their painting. That's more of an... My artistry is different. And I've been searching for some of these, these flatter ones to put in some wall pockets that I've been wanting to do. And then I came across some vintage numbers. They are vintage. They are vintage. I have an idea for these also for you all on the channel. Um, and then a yummy coffee grinder. Now, these are usually my better sellers on eBay, the ones that have all this detail in them. So I was happy to run across this. It doesn't even look like there's anything that needs to be fixed. So yay. And then oh, look at it. It's a Jim Shore's rooster. Oh my goodness. Is that not crazy? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful Jim Shore's piece. Now this marble kitty cat reminded me of the fenton is it fenton that has the alley cats that sell really well that shape that whole like yeah the whole shape of it reminded me of that so i thought that was a good find yes i was at an antique store and i'm like i don't know maybe i have something that this would fit i'm always looking this is ironstone so i'm always you know picking up ironstone that doesn't have lids so why not for minimal um, pick that up. That was very smart of him to resell that or her. Yes, look at these. Oh, I can't wait to put these in displays for you all. Mini rolling pins and then three of them. Not only one, but three. And they are vintage. Oh, so cool. Wonderful aged patina. Wonderful aged wood. Um, I got this also at my friend's mother-in-law's estate. A be beautiful blue frog. I just, and it's, it doesn't see, appear to be cracked or anything. And then y'all sold a black handled rolling pin. This was a goodwill find. Yeah, I took it right off the cart. The This piece of ironstone came from the estate sale also. Um, beautiful. I really like this piece. I think this is a Merkin piece. Yep, it's a Meekin, Meekin, which tends to be pieces that I... I'm trying to narrow down to what I will sell and what I'll collect. I love that detail on this. I didn't even know. She just showed me at it and it was all wrapped up. I'm like, yep, I'll take it. It says Ironstone, I'll take it. So I didn't even really look at it. And she was like, was it cracked or anything? I'm like, I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> you know, that's that's how we are. And then a couple green Pitberry Reese at Goodwill. Yep, get in my cart. <laughs> Um, this was at the community thrift. I showed this on my story. I'm like, uh, y'all, would you pick this up for $14.99? The basin's on it, and I couldn't fit it all on here, but it came with the basin, too, for $14.99. 
Uh, hello, yeah. I didn't have a cart then, so I couldn't get it in my cart, but I did take it up to the register. Came across this guy at an antique mall for minimal because they felt as if it was chipped. I'm like, you, you really have to look for the chip on there. I don't think it is too big a deal. It actually is signed. Where was it signed? So it is signed Talton, Talton 86. So cool piece though. I don't, it does not bother me. How about y'all? It's a beautiful swans and swans are hard to get your hands on. So it looks like this little side might be chipped too, but still a beautiful, beautiful swan. Um, look at this primitive house with an American flag, the early American flag. I think that was a cool, I think that was a cool piece. And then they had quite a few bird houses that day, and I did pick up this one. This is a newer, like, MDF board, but I think it, I love the roof. I love the little knobbies they got going on, and then it has a star. And then we have some of these shaker boxes. Um, like, so this would have been a three set and then this one, but Goodwill sold them all together. Um, I'll probably try to sell them as is first before ever making them over. Somebody hand painted this one, which is gorgeous. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Um, oh, here you go. Can you see that? Let me turn in the light here a little bit more. It's a, it's raining here in Michigan. And so we are good with that. <laughs> so... Medina, 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 Ohio. Anybody know? 18. So yeah, with that being a beautiful primitive piece, I wouldn't. So see, if you didn't like, you could turn, Um, you know, my heart has primitives, so you could turn it. And as for right now, um, I would leave these as is because I, because I think people do still collect and decorate primitive. Oh, I know they do actually. So I'll leave those as is. I can always find boxes to make over. And then look at these beautiful, talk about home interior candelabras. These are actually home interior candlesticks. Can you see how big these are? Now my Goodwill usually would put like $20 price tags on these and then they sit for months. But nope, $8.29 a piece. Um, I might, I'll, uh, so yes, they're home interiors. Uh, you know, I'm on the fence about making them over um, just because they're so big. I still think they're pretty. I mean, I guess, yeah, maybe leave them as is. It's so hard, you know, it's so hard because you, you almost want to try to sell something as is not to ruin its original. But then if it sits too long, you can always go ahead and you know, paint it over and see if it resells. We just have this pile of odds and ends. Look at this sheep. It's a neck warmer, so it has those beads in it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta buy the sheep neck warmer. I don't even know if it's ever even been used. It's soft. Put that in the microwave, make it all cuddly. <laughs> There's the basin that came with the ironstone pitcher. It is does have a chip. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. I have a stack of basins because nobody seems to want to buy the basins. So that's okay. I'll just put them on my hutch. I thought this little primitive wood napkin holder was very sweet. Painted black. My daughter needed a new mirror, so I picked her up one of these. And then I thought this little stool was very unique. Um, I believe that's like walnuts that are cut in half and then epoxied. Um, I would say mid-century modern. It's very sturdy, very sturdy. No wiggle to it whatsoever. I just thought it was a neat, a neat, unique piece. So all these little walnuts that are in there. Our new property has like multiple walnut trees, so I'm not looking forward to that cleanup. But anyway, and then I thought this, even though it is plastic, what a fun, oh, if I can get it to flip around. What a fun, oh. <laughs> So what a fun sun catcher this is. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty piece here. And then I do have one little other thing I wanna add in. I do have a piece of friend mail um, that a viewer sent me, Holly. So I'm gonna open it here on camera and share it with you all. 
I'll save the letter to read privately. And then let's see what's, let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness, it's a milk can. Oh, it's already gorgeous, Holly. I don't know if I'd do anything to it. Look at those chickens. Oh my goodness. It just needs some greenery. How cool is this? It's that nice rusty. Holly, it's gorgeous already. Thank you so much. So I always appreciate anybody sending me anything. Do not feel like you have to, but thank you so much. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Oh my gosh, I told you I had the goods. I found some amazing items this week. Oh, not a ton to make over and flip, but a lot to keep in my own for my own collection or to resell. I resell if you are new to the channel. I, I am on eBay and I also have a few booths here locally at a local antique mall and all that's down in the description box if you are interested. And as always, let me know which of the items that I found this week were your favorite. Oh my goodness, of course, Ironstone and a Swung Base. Oh my gosh, but that big sheep has my heart. That uh, if I had a place for it in my new house, um, I, my shelving is going to be minimal. And if you have not checked out our other channel of our journey of moving, we're still in our house yet, but go check out the GCR, the journey of moving a workshop, moving a business into another house. And again, again, that link is down in the description. So we will see you next time guys. And you can see what we're up to. Bye.